I'm going to show you something today, uh, gun related, that's a little different from the usual. It's not going to be about the rifle, just for what it's worth. That is a Marlin 1894 45 Colt. It's uh, my deer carbine. I've been hunting with it the, the last couple weeks. Anyway, um, not about the scope either, and it's not even about the stock coverage. It's about something most people don't talk about. It's the rifle sling. And uh, this one's a little different from uh, what most people have. Uh, I, this is my second sling like just like this. I bought my original one in about 1988-89. I bought my first uh, and only actually 30-06. And at the time I wanted a sling a little better, a little more useful for my purposes than it is with most people. Uh, most people get like the military style slings that have the frog hooks which basically are these two hooks that go here and then there are multiple holes in the in the sling that go up and down and they can adjust it that way but I didn't really like that very much because those can kind of come undone and I like having to undo the sling in order to readjust it and uh, another type of sling you'll see sometimes like your your standard belt you know where you have the the tooth that goes clear through it and then you adjust it up and down and it has multiple holes in it and you retract it or you know take take it up the slack to use it but I don't like those very much either because you have to undo them as well and what I was really looking for was a sling that you know, I could adjust instantly without having to undo anything just by uh, adjusting the sling with with its with the sling itself for lack of a better word and I found something I went ahead and tried it and I've been using it for quite a long time in the 30 6 so I liked it so much that when I bought this rifle four five five years ago I believe it is now anyway when I bought this I went ahead and uh, got a sling that is identical to it and it's made by the company um, Hunter if you've ever heard of them and uh, they make some inexpensive holsters but they also make several kinds of slings including this one and this is the quick fire sling quick adjust and there's nothing to undo once you attach it to the rifle put it on the sling swivels of course these are quick detached swivels too that's all you have to do and right now I suggested before I'd want to carry it for hunting including with my clothes so I just Put it right there that's a good way to carry it but it can also be adjusted into a hasty sling configuration where it's extended all the way out you can wrap it out and then you can also snug it back up for putting it in a gun cabinet or a gun case but anyway i'll show you how you adjust it here's the key right here is uh, you find these two chicago screws here which go through the leather <clears throat> and depending on where you pull on the sling is where, where it goes either up or down if you want to adjust the sling to be looser you grasp it right below the Chicago screws and pull down. What that does is the sling surges around and has a roller there and it gets looser. And I can pull it down even more down to there. It's, it's, it's limit right there. But that's as loose as you'd want it to be. Because now it's too loose to carry. The rifle hangs loose. It swings around a lot. It wouldn't be useful. But at this length it would be useful is, as I described earlier. A hasty sling. Wrapped around your arm, pull the rifle under your shoulder, more stability, especially for shooting offhand. That's a that's an old uh, trick that probably a lot of people are familiar with. <clears throat> now, if you want to tighten it, you do the opposite process. You pull the sling above these Chicago screws, and just like that, with just a little bit of force, and there is a roller here that helps the sling. It slides past itself, and you go up to here. And on this particular rifle, this is as short as I can get it. As you can see right here, this little piece of leather will tell you when you're right at your maximum, I mean your minimum length, because once it's there, it can't surge back around. And now the sling is too tight to really carry on your shoulder. It's suitable for putting in a gun cabinet. Um, my 30-06, when I have it at its shortest length, it's actually slightly taut on the rifle because the sling swivel studs on my 30-06 are, are a little bit farther apart, about an inch more so than on this uh, Marlin here. So that's why it's like that. But like this, it's quite a bit easier to store. And the nice thing about it is whether you adjust it short or long, it really doesn't slip. It holds really well. I mean, you could practically hang your whole body weight off it. Not that I would, but it works really well. You don't have to undo anything. Um, the price on these, I believe I paid between, I think 25. I don't believe I paid very much for it. That's the other thing about them. They're not very expensive and to me, it's the ideal sling, and a lot of people don't pay attention to them, but they're really nice. About the only challenge I had was 
And then probably because I'm just not that mechanically great about it, but just installing it on here. But it wasn't really very hard even then. But it took me a minute to go, oh yeah, that's how I did it. And after a while, I used my 30-06 that I had done years before as kind of a template to see how. And uh, basically, you just have to use these Chicago screws. Those are really what are keeping it on there. If anybody is unfamiliar with Chicago screws, just for those who don't know, it's basically a, a bolt with a, a, a head on either end. And they're slot head, and they just go through the leather, and they hold on there. And then if you want to undo it, you could actually unscrew these, and they're very strong. And then you attach it by looping it through here, then you put the Chicago screws back on once it's looped in the proper way. <clears throat> and the uh, nice thing about those is they're also something you can buy from uh, leather goods makers or belt makers. They're, they're pretty uh, replaceable. I've never broken a Chicago screw. They're very strong, made of brass. But uh, they're really good. And as I said, Hunter Quick Fire Sling. And figured I'd go over something a little unusual. I haven't made a video in a while, but I wanted to show this off.